All right, good afternoon. Welcome to Chats Cards, Tommy's Breaks, whatever you want to call it. Chad and Tom here. So, Tom, how are you doing today? Good. Terrific. How was pajama day? Um, I mean, I'd probably have to say <laughs> stuffed animal day was the best, but I, right. lo I, I love pajama day. All right, all right. And we've got we've got a creeper here. Where is he? Are you going to cause trouble, Henry? No. Are you sure? No. Okay, all right. I don't know. He might cause trouble. I don't know. So, anyways, got some mail today and a uh, Charlie Hustle box. It's first cards I've seen since, like, June in, uh, in a Target or a Walmart. Um, yeah, you know what Charlie Hustle is? No, I don't. That is Pete Rose. Do you know what Pete Rose is? Yes, I do. Okay. I'll do that upstairs. I know, but okay. you were telling... Hey, it's Iron Man. Do you know what Iron Man is? <gasps> yes, I do know who Iron Man is. <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne, of course. So, uh, Pete Rose, all-time hits leader. He had a little bit of a gambling problem, so he's not in the Hall of Fame or anything like that. But this card promises 10 cards plus an autographed Pete Rose card. So, unless I missed it, misread it... We'll, uh, we'll see how that works out, but I'll pay 30 bucks oh, for yeah, a Pete Rose it, autograph it, it any day. It clearly says Pete Rose. It does, it does, but who knows? Who knows what they kind of sneak and past us here. it clearly says autograph. I know, but plus one autograph Pete Rose card. So what if it's Pete Rose, but someone else autographs it? I mean, that could be a problem, so. Um. I don't know. We're going to find out. I mean, it's still a Pete Rose autograph. I would be very excited with a Pete Rose autograph. Great baseball player, even better haircut. And, uh, you know, if I did I make it. I his head. I mean, I, I mean right? he's not. I don't get to see his hair a lot. Very few people if are. he has a great haircut. Exactly. Um, if I did make a mistake, then hopefully people watching this will learn from it. And I'm a t and never say I'm not a team player. So here it is. Well, gold darn it. It what, is Pete Rose. It is Pete Rose. And it's a Pete Rose autograph. I'm happy with that. That's a cool one. That's a really cool card. I I'm mean, excited to have a Pete Rose autograph. I mostly like it in the blue. I do That's not sweet. like it in the black because if it's in the black... It's... Where's the back? If it's in the, why is it a thick? Card? Well, no, there's ten cards in here. Okay, I don't even think could we're gonna. I have one? Yeah, maybe, but okay. I don't think it's ten autograph cards. Uh... I think it's just ten regular cards. So you know what? You want to peep? I'm, you know, the guy probably signs like crazy. Yes, Henry. Can you tell us some Oh, can I have the autograph? Oh, you can't have. The... That's the reason can I bought it. Oh, There's one not autograph. Can you tell us some Paw Patrol? Well, we can do Paw Patrol oh, in a few minutes. What? Do you want to go upstairs? Maybe Connor can help you with that. No, I know. Uh, so which idea. team did he play for? <laughs> um, he played for a few teams. So he had the Reds, what, Expos, Phillies. Mostly the Reds, though. If I think if he would, ever goes to the Hall of Fame, he'll go in as a Red. He should go into the Hall of Fame. Um, yeah, you could probably get his. You could probably get his uh, autograph cheaper because that's what he does these days. But um, I thought even Jackie I, I think that's cool. He is in the Hall of Fame. Oh yes. Yeah. So, anyways, all right. So we've got mail. Been meaning to do this for a little while here. So what do you think? Just go through this real quick? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Um, I don't remember what's what, so I think this will be in then you're probably gonna think it has random like a order. Box. It's not a regular box, so... I mean, we'll... you're going to think it has that if you don't know the cards you bought. Well, I'll we'll figure it out. Ooh, all right. So this is the Turkey Red Chrome. I, uh, oh, I, I, yeah, I like these cards when uh, when they first came out, so I got the Jordan and the Bichette. Yeah. Uh, who am I missing? Lux, whatever. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I gotta get him with the big three, and then all of a sudden. And then you see Tatis' Grisham on the Padres. We got a couple of Chrome yeah. Grishams as well, Ooh, so one? you can have one. Okay. I'll give you one in a little bit here. So, yeah, yeah. But no, the Turkey Reds, I thought those were really sweet cards. I had the Jordan, I had the hey, Bichette. I'm like, hey, those are the big three. Yeah. Didn't really buy a Kino, but I also didn't really know much about Grisham until the season started, and so I'm playing a little bit of catch up. and. It's still a, a relatively, it's a fun card, cheap card to cheap card to get. So. I mean, why is Trent Christian cheap if he's like pretty good? Well, because there's you know um there's a lot to be uh there's, there's a long way to go for him to be really good. You know he didn't have the he didn't have all the hype. Oh uh, yeah. Exactly. So if you had like Luis Robert hype or whatever, you know, that, but he he had a really nice he, season. What, but what if he plays? What if he's as good as Sandy Koufax? He's just. Is hitting and what if he well, plays that would be pretty. Sandy so Sandy Kovacs only played like nine years. I know. What if he played that long and he was then that these cards are gonna be worth even less than what I paid for him. All right, what? Anthony Santander. Look at that. Look at that sparkle here. So this is a guy Ooh. that uh, I know, In right? So <gasps> he's like the only one that hits on the Orioles. Um, Austin Hayes probably hits a little bit, maybe. Uh, yeah, he mostly flies out really deep. But if you think about Austin Hayes, Santander, Ryan Mountcastle's on as well, is up, and Adley Rushman in the next year, Orioles could be something. And here's a guy who's hit 260 the last couple seasons. If you put his, if you put, 
<laughs> Thank you, Henry. If you put his last couple of seasons together, he's played about 150 total games. He's 25 years old. He would have hit about 260 with 32 home runs. And that's um, a pretty solid player. Yeah, so. when, when, when I'm playing as the Orioles, I, I, I usually throw curveballs out so he doesn't hit them. Um, so in, Dirty. Anthony Santander, I just, he just only hits them because I, like, he right. he had a, I think he had a really nice season. He got like, hurt, but he had a really nice season. And, and the nice thing is about Santander's cards right now is, like, if you're going to speculate, speculate on a guy where you can get a sapphire or gold for, like, 10 or $15. Yeah, Trey Mancini doesn't even hit him. He's, like, the best player. Well, he didn't play this year. He had died. He's going on, he's, he's Ooh, getting healthy. Wait, here's one of the best baseball players. Absolutely. Nine numb. Iron Man, what are you doing here? Nine numb. I love Star Wars cards, and that was a pretty cheap card. Nine numb is one of my favorite guys. So that is Mike Quinn, uh, the actor who played Nine numb, uh, signed that card, and I think it's a sweet card. So once in a while, I'm going to grab a Star Wars card. Um, and in a couple weeks, we're going to do all Star Wars cards. For Halloween, we're going to dress up. We're going to do a hobby box of black and white. I'm not going to be we're um, dressing up, dude. You bet we are. Yes, you are. Well, for that card opening. Okay. Right. I mean, we're good. Um, I mean, all right. And so, again, you can get these cards for 10 to $15. Here's a couple of golds. Those are numbered. Out of and 2018. And so, yeah, again, um, they're really cheap. And yeah, uh, you look at his numbers. He was a rookie in 2018. Yeah, he only played like a game. And then last year he played like 90 games but still had 20 home runs. And this year he played like 30 games and had 11 home runs. But he's got a 130 weighted runs created. So he's 30% better at creating runs than your average Major League Baseball player. So it's like there may be something to that. And for his price, I'm willing to find out. All right, a couple weeks ago we talked about uh, top 20 players overall. I think uh, three people watched it. But hey, no, it's all right. We're just having fun here. Um, talk about Juan Soto and uh, his prices. Like his main flagship rookie card is really coming down in price, but still pretty expensive. But I talked about cheaper options for Juan Soto, and this is the Topps Fire. And so if you wanted to find a variant of that, something a little bit shiny, I mean, you can pick these up for seven, eight bucks. And so to get a cool Juan Soto. The nice thing about Juan Soto cards, there weren't that many. Oh, that's like So now, they, they'll hold a little bit of that's value. That's like one of those gold fires. It is, but it's not numbered. Yeah, I know. Oh, you knew that. All right. Well, what? what? You, you think fire cards are numbered? Some of them are. Oh, they are? Yeah. So, yeah, I think that. Actually, I knew that. Another guy who had a good season, but he uh, he's had a few kind of weird seasons. Kind of, a couple not so good seasons. Uh, this year was a really good season. He's had a couple really good seasons, a couple stinkers. 31 years old. I mean, not a Hall of Fame type track or anything like that, but I sure like Marcelo Zuna. And his cards are uh, are not expensive, and there's a reason for that. Um, you know, when these guys kind of retire and they're not Hall of Fame, the chatter stops and they uh, the prices drop. But this is a 2013 um silk so the card is made of silk so i'm like all right if i'm gonna get a marcelo zuna card i'm just gonna get one that's kind of fun so it's i think they made 50 of these or whatever very tiny. it is very tiny it's very tiny silk is expensive i think but it's actually kind of bigger than those on the inters. um yeah it might be a little bit bigger than the Allen ginter mini so but i wanted a marcelo zuna card i might as well get a fun one so i'm happy with that all right Let's see, do I want to do, oh, here's one, and a thing, and, ah. So, Eloy Jimenez, well, what gold. Were the top rookies last year? I think so. I really, uh, I really like him. He's a guy that can hit about 280 with 35, 40 home runs. I already had a gold card, and um, it was, it was raw, and it actually looks pretty nice, but there's a tiny bit of a spot that, I don't know, maybe looks a little rough or whatever. So, I saw this card, and the gold ones usually go for like 80 or 90 bucks, and I just put down a low ball bid. I woke up the next morning and saw that I got it for about half of what his regular ones go for. So I think people are scared off by the eight and a half on the surface, and I don't care. Wait, eight and a half dollars? No, eight and a half the score, 8.5 on the uh, surface. So I couldn't tell anything wrong with it, and I think it looks terrific, and I'm super happy to have that card, especially for half of what you would get for a regular raw or, or, or a nine gold. So another Eloy. All right, and a couple more here. Let's see this one. Did I already do this one? Oh, no. All right. USA. All right, Trent Grisham. That is the blue variant. Oh, ah. Chrome refractor. Through chrome refractor. Yeah, so that's... What's the number two? Oh, 150. Maybe we... I don't know if we're going to... There it is, 150. Yeah, so... There's the blue. I like Trent Grisham, and as far as speculating on a guy, this is maybe a little bit more than I'd usually like to do for someone with kind of his pedigree, but um, I'm a believer. See what happens with that one. And then the final card. 
You wanna tell me what you know about this guy? Uh, sure. If I actually know about this guy. Do you know about this guy? Okay. Uh, yeah, I know about this guy. Okay. I haven't heard him that long. Uh, <laughs> Get a good season. I haven't heard about him that long, but I do. Last year wasn't so good, I think, but this year's pretty good. So, anyways, um. The first baseman Hall of Fame tracker that I put out uh, earlier Wait, this week. Wait, he's gonna be a Hall of Famer? Well, I think it's a uphill climb for him. His prices kind of reflect that. So you've got three tiers of guys: guys that really aren't gonna do it, guys that maybe are on track, but it's iffy. And then there's guys like Freddie Freeman and Miggy and um, those guys that are probably on the Hall of Fame track. And you know, those are two hundred dollar plus cards. The guys that maybe aren't are like thirty, forty dollar, maybe fifty dollar cards. And you've got guys that are kind of. In between that, you know, maybe from that sixty to one hundred and thirty dollar range with like Obreu and Rizzo, and uh, and, and Goldschmidt, where it's like, yeah, maybe. And I think Goldschmidt, Obreu probably not, Rizzo probably not. Goldschmidt, he's averaged five or six WAR, you know, pretty much forever. And if he can do that for the next three years, then he's got to be in the conversation. And he's really at the low end of that range, so I think this is an undervalued card that should be worth maybe twice what it is. So that's what I got. What do you think? It's good. It's good. It's good. All right. Did we miss anything here? Uh, yeah, you missed a tiny card right here. Here, Chase. There it is. Yeah, these were filler cards, so whatever. So, oh. all right, man. Well, that's what I know. Here's some Grishams. We'll get you a Grisham. Thanks. Absolutely. Shiny. And, uh, yeah. Why wouldn't they be there it shiny? Is. Well, they are shiny. They're chrome. They should be shiny. So, yeah, all right. Yeah. Good deal. All right. Say bye. Bye. See you. Bye. See you. Bye. See you, see you Friday for uh, Triple Threads, hopefully. No, no. We get it. Oh. Um, or, oh wait, and, All right, thanks, Henry. And we're black and white on Halloween. That'll be a couple weeks. Yep. Yeah. All right, take care. Bye.